The internet computer is a public resource that will make it possible to build websites, enterprise IT systems, and internet services directly on the internet itself. We're developing a protocol called ICP that combines compute capacity in independent data centers to create a public uh, compute platform called the Internet Computer. Definity is reinventing the legacy IT stack with something simpler, faster, more secure. Today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that, that pretty big claim and I'm, I'm going to walk you through it. Let's write an app. The end user talks to linked up, which talks to connected. This is written in Motoko, which is a language that we launched last fall. It's a, a really powerful, safe, and still familiar language. There's no database. We just declare a data structure, in this case, a hash map, move on with our life. Deploying, uh, yeah, it, I really wish I could just take my app and just deploy it, right? But the modern best practices for deploying an application are kind of insane. Let's take a look at deploying to the internet computer. I'm going to deploy it to one node. So now I'm going to hit another node in the same network. I did not deploy to that node. I deployed to the first node, but it's there too. So the peer-to-peer -peer, um, algorithm we use takes the code that I've sent to one node, spreads it to all the other nodes in the network. These nodes are all over the world. Right, So there's always going to be one close to your users, so I don't need a CDN. We've already showed that we don't need a database. So all of these layers are starting to like fall away one by one. This is linked up. I'm going to go ahead and log in, um, give it my username and password. No, actually, I'm not, because it already knows who I am, because I carry my identity around with me. So no, no usernames, no passwords. If I search for Dominic here, because you can see I'm not yet connected to him, the result I get back is almost instant. So this is actually sending a request to the internet computer and responding. We were clocking it early at around 18 milliseconds. This is blockchain moving at the speed of, of user impatience. And also, this entire app is running from the canister itself. There's not a multi-tier decentralized solution where actually your front end is still running on an Amazon server somewhere. Databases, REST APIs, load balancers, firewall CDNs, browser extensions, usernames, passwords, web servers. It's all gone. So yeah. Um, kind of replacing the legacy IT stack, right? These are things that I, as a developer, don't especially want to deal with, and now I don't have to. It provides four key advantages. First of all, it provides people a way to avoid being a captive customer of today's stack, which currently costs the world, according to Gartner, $3.9 trillion a year. So the internet computer provides a tamper-proof environment where you can build systems that start off secure, i.e. that are secure by default. Thirdly, it reduces complexity. So we've sort of reimagined software and provided means to reduce the complexity of systems. So um, that obviously reduces costs, that reduces time to market. And lastly, the internet computer provides a way to build a new kind of internet service that we call an open internet service that runs as part of the fabric of the internet itself. It's a paradigm shift. When we believed that the Earth was the center of the universe, we had, we had to add all this extra stuff. And what we ended up with was this very complicated solution in order to save the underlying model. And then Copernicus comes along and says, well, wait a second, what if we put the sun in the center and all the complexity just sort of melts away? There are skeptics, of course. We've seen it before, though, in software. Software is almost a series of paradigm shifts, right? So like, obviously, we don't use punch cards anymore. Uh, when I was learning to code, I had to manually add line numbers. So now my daughter, she's eight, she's in elementary school, she's learning to code. And her actually, her whole generation is, right? There is a tidal wave of developers coming this way and telling them that they need to learn databases and firewalls and usernames and passwords and all that kind of stuff is going to it's going to seem like telling them that they need to use punch cards, right? Or that the sun goes around the Earth. 